morning everybody so sunny day in Ireland after quite a few days of rainy so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys around the Ring of Kerry the Ring of Kerry is a famous uh, route here down Kerry it goes from Killarney uh, you can do either way you can just go from Killarney to towards Kilorgan or go to Killarney towards Kemea but uh, it's a loop run it's about 150 um, 150 miles of road and uh, it goes from Kalani to uh, Mose Gap, Khmer, Khmer to Sneem, Sneem to Glenbeck, Glenbeck to Waterville, Waterville then cross the mountains to get to Waterville and then we go to to Karsavin which we're just gonna best now so we're gonna do the other way around because I'm I believe in Karsavin so goes to Karsavin which is around those mountains there and then goes back to Kalabé and Glorgan and back again to Kalan it's really really nice stunning views um, so we're gonna show you today that hopefully the weather will stay dry it's supposed to stay dry most of the day a few showers around but nothing bad so, and we're gonna go directions of uh, Kilorgan that way and then go to Killarney where I meet my friend Edmund and he join me there from there to Mose Gap and uh, see how far he can go but anyway so hopefully we won't catch too much traffic as well and now one thing to note about this route is you know normal business season can be very very busy with the buses at this time of the year because of the pandemic and there's not much buses or camper vans so uh, but I went to Kalani the other day and there was quite a bit of traffic so hopefully we don't hit any traffic today today's Saturday so it should be fine also this uh, carry way uh, sorry the Ring of Kerry, um, confusing now with the Kerry way. The Ring of Kerry, there is a cycle that happens, uh, I, th I think it's in August, sometime in August, I'm not sure. Check it out. But uh, that cycle uh, involves a lot of cyclists coming from Kalani, so not a good idea to come to try to do this on that day. Uh, so try to avoid that. Another tip as well is that if you are doing this and there is a busy season, uh, try to do it uh, the way from Kalani to Kalorgan and that way. Or, sorry, no, yeah, the other way around. So try to do Kalani to, to Khmer and then the other way around. The reason for that is because the buses they can only go in one direction and they go from Kalani to Kalorga so that makes it easier for you so you won't be stuck behind two or three buses so yeah hope hope you enjoy and let's do it then let's show you Ring of Kerry Best strand guys is just London left here. It's a really nice place as well to go off the road of the Ring of Kerry, but it's a nice stop there um, if we have the time. This is Glenbe.
a quick stop here so to show you guys the, the Carantouro, the highest mountain in Ireland. How are you? I just heard your voice. <laughs> down that road there, look. That's how it's been. No, no, that's you're perfect. That's, is, is that your place there? Yeah, that's... That's our farm down there. Ah, beautiful. It's a beautiful place here. Ah, it's a good place. God, is that your your sheds over there? Uh, here, just straight down here. The yeah. green ones there, right? Oh my God, that's nice. Yeah, it is very... It's, right it's very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, so, it's a beautiful. Huh? June deal, it's called. Oh, June deal. June deal. And yeah. June deal means um, a fort or a castle. And there was a fort here, a fort. Yeah. And there's a fort up here. All right. Um, a couple of forts around here, and that's what June, June, June stands for. June so, is fort June is fort. Huh? June is fort. June is fort, yeah. June okay. Deal is all right, and who was the fort belong to? Huh? Who who was in the fort? Uh, it was the, the the Normans probably had. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. And there, there's no more ruins ruins there now. No, no, they had tunnels and stuff. There's tunnels going from them to them, but they're all closed. Falling now. Oh, um, I just kind of like you. Back here, where the trees are. The the back the where the house is. Yeah, and the, the long side, the, the two-story house all over either side. That's the fort. There's one there, yeah. one across the river, and there's one up here behind my back. Ah, oh, Jesus, you pass here every day when you don't see. Yeah. We don't know that, those things. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Okay, uh, talk to you. Cheers. All right, so we're here in Kalai now just with petrol and uh, getting ready to go. So from here now, we're going to go down to towards Moles Gap, which is that way. That's my friend Edmund the there. Well, the rain just started. Uh, so we live in Kalani, yeah. But, uh, let's see how bad it gets. This is, uh, this is Kalash Kalani National Park, as I say seen there and we're heading towards like uh, uh, most gap which is gonna make a stop on a place called Pages View <laughs> there you go we're passing through now um, Kalani National Park
is so let's have a look here at the at the view on the ladies view here this is Kamani That way is Cork. Someday we're just gonna go there. We're gonna turn here again. This is the town, the center of the town. Nice to see people around again. everybody we are just outside the uh, temple log which is a village between Sneem uh, sorry to a village between Sneem and Cardenia and um, temple log there is a fort about that way and uh, we might take a, a ride at as you get in temple log and uh, try to go over there and explore the fort but uh, just stopped here for to look at this really nice view of the sea and uh, parts of uh, Cork on the other side. That's, uh, I believe, it's Sheephead there. 
all the way across Cork Peninsula, the Bear Peninsula. Um, that's one on my on my list to go. Um, a beautiful place. So the weather turned out to be really nice. The rain just rained a bit for 15 minutes or more, and then stopped. But it was nothing bad, and they got very warm, you know. So. Anyway, so let's take a look at that, take a look at this fort as well when we get in Cardenia in uh, we're going to go to O'Connor, Daniel O'Connor's house. Daniel O'Connor was a liberator of Ireland and um, he's, uh, he was born in Carsevin and uh, he lived in, uh, in Derrynen house and there's a nice beaches over there as well so we might stop by there and let's have a look. So yeah, let's go. There we are, that's the fort there. So we arrive here in Stag Fort, which is just behind me. Um, it's just about like, five kilometers off the road, off the main road, carry way. So yeah, so I think it'll be safe here. So we leave the stuff here and let's take a look at the, the, the place. I've been here many times. It's really nice. As I say, it's not a big fort. Um, Carsevin one is much much bigger. But it's really nice to see. So let's go there. Oh, just right here. And um, to the waterfall. So, Stag Fort. It says it's one of the largest, but I don't think so. Carsevin is the largest one, I think, as far as I can see. Uh, probably built in the early centuries AD before Christianity. Uh, must be very um, um, honor. The, the person that built this was a very wealthy landowner who was shifting. Six meter high wall and four meters thick built entirely without mortar so it's always stone up with stone um, basically it was a family home garden servants would live there as well horses it was probably out buildings as well and um, it was on the top was reached by a series of steps uh, I think it's pronounced as the steak steak for um, I think it's see Let's just have a look. So that's the entrance. And take a look at these two huge stones. How the hell did they lift these things? At the time that there was no, no machinery. And there we go. There's a series of steps that we can see to reach the top. I believe it was a bit higher at the time. It probably was fixed one time and it looks quite neatly. There is a inside here probably would have like houses, things like that. But as we saw on the picture, there was, there is actually a, some kind of cave in here, maybe a room, something like that. It goes all the way in and it's covered with the sheep poop. Kind of like a room, probably 
safe to, for um, holding uh, grains and things like that. Um, yeah, six meter high walls and uh, that's sheltering side from the wind. I believe like it was probably a full circle and didn't have these deeps that we have today. Um, as they say, it, stones here, there was no mortar used. It was one stone in the top of each other. I don't mind how much stones is in here. Stag fort. So anyway, there is a few forts like this around Ireland and uh, there is a quite a few forts in uh, in the area here in the southwest carry. As I say, there's two in Carcevina. I uh, will try to go there one day. But they have, to be honest with you, I think they are bigger than this. But I'm not sure. So there you go. Get out again. Why don't we take a look? So this is it, this is Daniel O'Connor's dairy in a house called. So we're gonna check it out now. I'm gonna show you guys around. It's a beautiful place. There's a beach across the forest here. And uh, the house is situated on the other side. So we're just gonna go through the through the garden first. Just to show you around. It's, a, it's a really nice place. Nice for camping. Very quiet today. There and the house is right here. Coffee shop is open. There you go, there in the house. Surely, it might be open already. Oh, they are open. Great. The nice beaches around the way the walk there. Yeah, Heading towards the beach now, just to give you guys a quick look. Um, the house is just behind me here now, and uh, the beach goes stretched from pier, which is on my right, all the way down to uh, basically the way we came from Cardenia. Well, it's a nice beach. It's a really nice place to camp. Um, not too crowded actually. Um, summer, because it's a quite big beach. And as you can go towards the pier. Okay, let's go to the beach yeah, to show you. It's a bit of a walk. All right, so this is it. Uh, it's a nice 
nice beach here. Really nice beach. And all this that way. That's where you came. Um, beautiful. And I think it's the only beach that I know that there is a cemetery just beside the cemetery so you can barely see from here. It's across that way there. It's across the water. And basically there's still burying people there. But in uh, they have to wait for the low tide in order to pass uh, with the cow coffin across. Um. Alright, so time to go. Okay, everybody, we are in a place called Kumakishta. Kumakishta is uh, just around the corner here. There's a, another place for a view. And uh, down there was Derinan where we, we went to the park, Daniel O'Connor's Park, just behind those mountains. That's the beach there. And uh, behind that is the, the cemetery that I was talking about. And uh, the Darien house is just behind those mountains. Uh, we can see the Skellig Rock straight ahead, just part of it. And um, this direction is Waterville. And um, from Waterville, we're going to go down to Waterville and then we go towards like the Skellig Ring. It's another route. And that will take us back to to Pomegi. And uh, there is beautiful. Those mountains all the way are down there. It's the it's Cork. And uh, this side is Gary, of course. And that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Uh, it's a beautiful road. The ring of Gary. So. We almost complete the full loop. Uh, we start in Karsevi and uh, we gonna finish in. We're gonna take direction of Banskelis and finish in Banskelis. We won't go to Karsevi again. But uh, yeah, this is almost a full loop. So so let's take a look. Let's take. Let's go there. Have a look. Uh, and when we cross here, just over this bend here on the road this is where we start going down and uh, the next town is Waterville let's take a look at it For those of you who don't know, Waterview uh, was uh, a vacation home for Charlie Chaplin. He had a house just right there at the bridge where we passed. And uh, these days now we have a, a Charlie Chaplin festival here during the summer. So yeah, this is it, the Ring of Kerry from, for me. It continues here back again towards uh, Karsavin and Kalani. And then it's gonna pass Glorg and do the all the way around. So now here we're gonna take a left and go to this Skellig Ring Road to the Van Skellig and that will take me back to where I, I want to go.
right everybody so this is it thanks very much if you stay until the end of this video thanks very much for watching and uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do there's quite a lot of videos coming up a few trips planned to Cork and uh, Galway uh, and quite a lot more uh, if and if you already subscribed, thanks so much for doing so. And I hope you enjoyed. And this is the Skellig Ring uh, road here now that we are in. It's a beautiful place as well for for uh, a ride. It's short though, but like it's really nice. And uh, we might include this one day in one of my videos. So with that, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next time. Take care.